So now we're going to talk about what you need to know before you fly the drone and the first thing you need to know is insurance. So there's something called DJI Care, I talked about it a little bit earlier, but it gives you two accidental damage claims. If you damage the drone by accident, you are covered still by a one year warranty. So if it's not accidental damage and there's an issue, they will replace it for you without claiming that accidental damage. There is a little cost to a replacement, but it's very, very minor. For me in Australia, it's only $59 to insure it for a year. And the good thing about getting DJI Care is if you only crash it at least once, you can extend it for a second year. You can't extend it for a third year, but just a second year. So try not to crash it too many times under accidental damage and you'll be good. Furthermore, public liability insurance. If you do any damage to someone else, like, uh, I don't know, crash into a tree in a private house and the owner of that tree says, hey, you need to replace my tree, they can come and they can sue you. So there's something called public liability insurance that you should get to protect yourself in case of any claims. Personally, there is hobbyist societies out there for model aircrafts. The BMFA over in the UK, they give you 10 million pounds worth of public liability insurance. So you're safe over there in Australia. You can get the AMAS, they give you $20 million. You want to crash one of those, crash into your mate's house, make a claim, you're rich. Don't do that, I'm joking. Don't, don't, don't do that, don't do that. Um, the good guys, I personally, thankfully, have never had to use that service but just be aware, just protect yourself, why not? It's very cheap, like 50 pounds a year, $50 a year, and you're set. All right, so to get DJI Care in the comment section, I got a link straight to it. Click on that, and you're taken directly to the page you need to get to, and it's the first one right here, DJI Care Refresh, only 59 Australian dollars. Guaranteed safety for a year. Well, not safety, accidental insurance. So they also do price matching with anyone else that shows DJI Care Refresh. So I'm just gonna click shop now and you enter in your serial number right there. It needs to either be brand new unactivated or activated within the last 48 hours or repaired by a service center within the last 72 hours of receiving that invite. If you do that, you're safe. But I'm gonna just buy it right from the start because, you know, I wanna be safe. Some little bits about the law, don't fly at night. You can't see it. I mean, some countries allow you to fly at light as long as you have some amazing lights and all that stuff, but just don't fly at night or check your local laws about it. If there's a low flying plane or a helicopter, land, land your drone, give way to the helicopter. You don't wanna risk any damage to the helicopter. And it's again, against drone laws. Can only go 120 meters off the ground level and it's a moving ground level. So 120 meters from this part and then 120 meters from this part. So you can, go more than 120 meters of where you are in the world because it's 120 meters down from wherever the drone is. So go down if you're too high, just always follow the ground level. And uh, you have to fly at least 30 meters away from people who are part of your enjoyment of the world. So don't fly too close to other people. Don't go to sporting events. Don't go to events in general. You can fly over empty stadiums, that kind of stuff, but during events, you usually get harassed by security if you try flying the drone anyway, but you're not recommended. And 30 meters away from people, don't harass them, don't annoy them. Be, be a good be a good citizen. Now, maximum distance, we already talked about that. I suggest 200 meters, but just check your eyesight. And uh, I recommend toning down from 2,000 meters. Legally, it's more about you have to keep line of sight visible, your eyes, not binoculars, to the drone. And that is the law, so it depends on how good of a Superman 2020 vision you have. Follow that. Next up, there's an app, a flight checking app. Now DJI Drone, they give you some sort of warnings if you're in a no-fly zone area. However, there's an app called Open Sky. It'll tell you where all the airports are. It'll tell you where all the helicopter helipads are. And usually it'll tell you you can't fly anywhere, but just double check in the warning area because sometimes it's just saying, hey, this is close to a helipad. So if you see a helicopter or a low-flying plane land your drone, you can still fly there if you don't see one. And it also tell you, hey, this is, a, this, is, this is an airport, don't fly near there. So there's red and then there's yellow. Usually you'll see most areas as yellow. Yellow usually means just double check if there's any obstacles in the way, such as a helicopter. Okay, that's a lot of stuff, but there's one more thing to do. This drone, it only goes 29 miles per hour and that's around 11 miles per hour, less than the GGI Mavic Pro. And over here, 
we get gusts of wind by the beach, the ocean, all that kind of stuff. The weather can change to so check the weather. Make sure that the weather is not more than 29 miles per hour. Gusts of winds, all that stuff, because in bad weather, even on sports mode, it can get stuck. And I'm gonna show you what happened to me. What happened to me was when I was flying this, going against the wind, it was traveling at two meters a second. It came to a standstill. It was trying its hardest and the battery was dying. So I had to perform an emergency landing because it couldn't fly closer to me against the wind. So just, and these gusts of winds come out of nowhere. I checked the weather that day, but I was unlucky. But usually you wanna fly on a good weather day. Don't risk it, especially with this low power drone. It does do a good job, but it's low power compared to the previous Phantom 4 and Mavic. So don't fly in aggressive winds, check the weather and you'll be happy. One of the best features about this tiny drone is that it really impresses the ladies. Wow, it's so small. 